Hi everyone, it's Kim. So I'm gonna make a batch in a different, let me get my goggles on. I'm gonna make a batch in a different mold that a friend made for me. It's a little deep, but I'm not gonna make it that deep. But it's so I can um, split the log in half and have two logs. And the, I've made this before, but I made it in a slab mold and I made it a different way. And it's called Herbs d'Artois. And it's made with Stella Artois um, beer. And for whatever reason, this beer um, really imparts a sweet aspect to the scent, um, more so than any of the other beer soaps that I've ever made before. And um, so, yeah. So I made, I'm gonna make, I don't know if you've ever seen bleached peacock feathers. So instead of having the colorful peacock feathers that I did on the slab mold that time, I'm gonna try to do in the vertical mold a peacock feather design using a hanger method and embedding this shape in there for the eye of the peacock and I just made some hot process and and carved it like I did in my mustache that time so it's going to be kind of a real neutral colored um, soap but it's also okay because it's really sort of a men's scent it's 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 nature's garden fierce and I mixed it with um, um, backwoods bay leaf and black pepper to give it a little bit more of a spicy herbal type of scent. So anyway, let me go ahead and get started here. So I'm using um, 12 ounces of beer and 10 ounces of um, distilled water and then 6 ounces of um, coconut milk. And I put, um, what is it called? Um, I can't speak tonight. I put silk in my um, lye water, or my 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 beer in lye water. And I had also when I had when I had put my my lye in here, I had um, had my beer frozen after I had um, simmered it on the stove like a week or so ago. And I'm soaping cool. And I put a little bit of um, kale and clay in here just to help with um, holding the scent and everything. And I'm going to add some, I put 3% of sodium lactate. And then here's my coconut milk. And I just buy the the brand that's in the refrigerated section at the grocery store. So let me go ahead and give this a little pulse here. Good thing I'm not overflowing today. I started out to do this batch like this morning, but just um, piddle in here and piddle in there. I just never got around to it, and then I had to make the embeds. So anyway, let me go ahead and add my fragrance oil.
Hope everybody had a safe and um, happy 4th of July. It's kind of odd having it during the week. Okay. So I'm going to pour some off into some titanium dioxide that I have a little bit of, um, um, what is that stuff called, um, glycerin to dilute it down. I'm going to put some in here, which is cocoa powder and 14, 24 karat gold mica. Like I said, this is just a really neutral, um, a really neutral batch. Okay, let me just set this to the side. I'm gonna do this first. Sure, I scrape it off the bottom really well. Make sure I don't have any chunks in there. And the last batch that I made of this, it didn't really discolor or anything, so I was okay with adding the fragrance to the parts that I have the color. Let me set that over here for a second. Let me scrape out the bottom. sure that cocoa is blended well. attempt to do here. I just noticed when I had made another batch that when I had did a hanger swirl um, and put some balls in it on my black raspberry, um, well it's actually blackberries and cream, but it's black raspberry vanilla scent that um, they had, a, they kind of look like um, um, peacock feathers. So I thought, well the next time I do this batch I would try that. So I'm going to just Pour in this. Scrape that on. Okay, so I'll save a little bit for the top. Let me tap this down over here. And then I'm going to add, I don't really want to let it drip down in there. Let me try to do this.
I'm just letting it flood onto there. Letting it flood onto there and then spread it out just very lightly, spread it out. Okay. And then I'm going to take my gold mica and the cocoa powder color. Let me just stir it a little, make sure it's loose. and then do the same thing. Oops. Let me just spread that in there a little. And then wipe this. always messy. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is put another layer oops, of this on the top. Spread it out. I'm going to go and tap it down. Okay. So I've got that there. Now, what I want to do is get my hanger. and put it in there and then I'm just going to go and hopefully That'll be enough. Then I'm going to take this little bit of the brown that I have left in here. And I think I may add just a little bit more. Put this here. Of the gold mica, the 24 karat gold mica to it. Just to add a little bit more sparkle for in the center of the eye. Yeah, see this particular fragrance oil blend really gives me plenty of playing time, that's for sure. So what I want to do is I want to try to because I have this little indention like on a peacock feather, like a heart shape almost. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit, hopefully, down the center of the vein part of it so that way I won't have any air pockets, hopefully. Okay. 
And then, there's this is two rows here, so I need to trim this off a little. So I'm going to trim that off just a little bit because it's short. It's too short, I mean too long. So then I'm going to just stick this in right there. And then I'll get this one ready. Sorry, I'm probably working backwards here. Let me just scrape this down again. So I can make sure I get a little bit more on there. Okay. Put that back there. So then I'm going to put that right here because the log is going to be split in half. So now what I want to do is <clears throat> I want to take my chopsticks and press this down in there. And the same thing with this one. Okay. kind of hard to figure out what to do with the top because it is so soft still. Maybe I'll just let it set for a second. Let me, let me look for my um, spatula that I can work with. Let me just see. Just a slight little plane here. They're setting off fireworks here. My dogs are probably going to start freaking out. So, it's not going to really do anything that much because of the how much playtime I have with this. It's really working out well. You know, you could sit around here and do this all day. So, that's it for right now. I think I will um, spritz a little bit of gold mica on the top. Just a little bit because I don't want to have it too glam. And, um, like I said, because it's kind of a masculine scent. But with the um, bay leaf and black pepper and the fierce together, it, it I like it a lot for me personally. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great um, 4th of July, and I will cut this tomorrow and let you see. We'll, we'll, we'll both be able to see whether or not my peacock idea um, feather worked. Okay? You guys have a great evening. Bye.